Welcome everybody, I'm Fabio Viviani and you're watching Fabio's Kitchen where every week we'll bring you an amazing dish made by me. Today I'm gonna put my Aquaman suit on it because we're doing a seafood linguine. It's one of the America classic dishes. You know, if you like a chopino, if you like a fish stew, if you like seafood, uh, you know, like a linguine and clam, if you like seafood in general, seafood linguine is what you would want to eat if one day you're on the Mediterranean Ocean and you're very hungry for a plate of pasta. Now, seafood linguine is really nothing else than a good plate of pasta cooked in a fish broth with different shellfish. Shellfish, uh, some shrimp, some calamari, different from a chopino. Seafood linguine has no place for whole fish, all right? Anything small, anything like a calamari chopped, shrimp peeled, clam and mussel, it's perfect. Sometimes you find some crab in it, but never like salmon or halibut, never pieces of fishes because they will overcook very fast. The first move for a good seafood linguine is to understand that the linguine needs to be cooked. The sauce is in fact very quick because there is nothing in this dish that takes more than 3-4 minutes to cook. Of course, we will have to open the shell, but even that doesn't take a long time. So, first of all, let's salt the water. We're going to salt the water, not the sauce, because the sauce has clams and mussel and shrimp. Everything comes from ocean water. That's where Aquaman live. And ocean water is salted, so the salty shell, the porous shell, the shrimp's tail, the calamari, is going to be somewhat saltier than your normal ingredient and the sauce will be just seasoned fine. First of all, we got to make a fan. See there? By putting your finger like this, like okay, and the other finger like this, like okay, you do a fan. See that? Look at that. Now you go here. D, I'm telling you, this is the move of 2016. Like this will make your 2016 look like you're just you're just rocking and rolling, all right? Now, there is a slight difference between Aquaman, that you know, and an Italian Aquaman. In both cases, we love fishes. But one of them talks to them, Aquaman. The other one cooks them, me. I love fishes. I want to talk to them. I honestly just want to eat them with a little roasted garlic and olive oil sauce. Look at that. Create the base for a tasty seafood linguine is nothing else than roasting a good amount of garlic and then adding the seafood. Clams. Mussel. A little bit of parsley. Look at that. Now what we do here, look, the garlic is roasting. Now we're gonna get some very good wine. The best wine out there, Fabio Viviani wines. And we're gonna deglaze these with a white blend. Do you wanna use a Chardonnay for it? Go for it. You wanna use a Pinot Grigio? Go for it. But if you use my wine, it'll taste better. Cause that's the wine of Aquaman would drink. Cover it, turn the fire up, because now the seafood, the clam and mussel, they're taking a bath. They are relaxing like they were relaxing if they were at a spa. Think last time you went to a spa. You were very relaxed. You didn't die though, but, but, that, but that's not the point. The point is now they're very comfortable. And then after we eat them, we're going to be very comfortable. So that's for now. All we have to do is turn in the pasta a little bit. Turn the pasta a little bit, making sure it doesn't stick. Go over there. Now we have the clam and mussel, they're done. We're done with the salt and pepper and the olive oil. We have some tomato. I like to have my seafood linguine a little red, all right? Very little red. And that's what we have. What I'm gonna do here, as soon as the clam and mussel have opened in less than a minute, I will shred few pieces of raw tomato slice just to get the brightness, the freshness of a good 
raw tomato bites in it, as well as throwing in some a little bit of, uh, of uh, pomodoro, tomato, like a, just a little bit of canned tomato. After that, we're gonna add the rest of our frutti di mare. Wait, what? Yes, I was speaking Italian. Frutti di mare, the fruit of the sea. Technically, it's not fruit, it's seafood. And in the ocean, there is no tree. So, this is one stupid name to call seafood in Italy. We call it the fruit of the sea. But I, I was born and they already call them that, not that, I, not that I made up the name for it. But in Italy, really, linguine ai frutti di mare, mean seafood linguine. <laughs> hey, we're not perfect in Italy, all right? It is what it is. Now, see how the, how the seafood are open here? Look, here's what we're gonna do now. Get a little tomato, and just, like that. Two, three, four, five, then, and we're gonna do this. We add some calamari, and when seafood are good, they smell like fresh salted water. They don't smell like bad seafood or something. They smell like fresh water. They, they smell like salt, like clean. And, and the flavor already comes up in here. Put in some calamari. Most of you use Dolce Gabbana, Versace, Gucci perfume. Aquaman use seafood perfume. Gets a big old calamari and he rubs it over his neck. That's Aquaman for you. Now, check this out. Here's what we gotta do now. I'm gonna add a touch of seafood broth. Just a touch. And I'm gonna add a little bit more extra virgin olive oil. You know why? Because once the broth is reduced, the oil will cook the pasta and have the sauce stick to it. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of chopped basil to it. Check this out. Now, it's time to take my pasta out. There is raw calamari and raw shrimps in there. This is a good measure for a good linguine, is you be able to cook the pasta in the sauce, like that. So now we turn off the water. Cover that with the broth and everything, and we're gonna let them cook. Get some wine, delicious. No kidding. Fresh parsley at the end for good measure. I'm gonna grab a plate and I'll be right back. One thing that was always fascinating me when I watched the Aquaman movie, is that he was talking to the seafood, talking to the creature under the water by kind of telepathically communicating with them. And since I am the Italian Aquaman, I, delicious by the way, I will do the same. It worked. You know what I did? I looked at them and I told them, do not move, freeze. And they didn't move. <laughs> we got it, guys. I mean, this is, honestly, I mean, seriously, I can cook, I talk to seafood. I'm like the Italian Aquaman. Wow, I love this. All right, so. Look at this. You wanna always, of course, put the pasta first and then the seafood on top. So what am I doing here? I'm kind of getting rid of the empty shell. If there is no seafood inside, why keep them there? Calamari, clams, mussel, shrimp, roasted garlic. This is the ultimate dish, literally. If Aquaman didn't like sushi that much, it would have totally eat this all day long. Seafood Linguini, your wonderful host, Fabio Viviani. You're watching Fabio's Kitchen.